Hi, and welcome once more to People's Channel. My name is Dennis Salani. I run a blog, saldb.wordpress.com, that deals with wellness and self-development. Now today, I'm inviting you to discuss together the importance of taking time to go out to nature. As you can see, the setting here, I'm in a bush. If you can listen carefully, you can hear the sound of bells of some livestock and the sound of birds and generally everything that you can come across in nature. Now, nowadays we spend a lot of time in cities or in urban settings where we tend to drift away from nature. But it's important that once you get an opportunity take time to go to nature as you can see me here why should we go out to nature one is that once you go to nature you once more begin to appreciate the gift of nature the birds flying the animals grazing nearby the beautiful setting the absence of smoke, noise, and all those things that are part of our urban setting, our towns, our locations. Now, going out to nature, it helps you to appreciate the beauty of nature. And as such, it reconnects you with the creator because you appreciate the hand behind the creation you appreciate that there is a person or there is a deity that created all these things these beautiful things these wonderful things these amazing things the trees the flowers the birds flying by the butterflies and the fresh air that you cannot get where we stay now that helps to offload you. It offloads you from the worries, from the problems, from the daily concerns that surround us every day. The rise of the cost of living, the change in economy that affects us, the violence and all those things. When you are here in nature, you escape from all those problems and you are alone with the creator now it does not only reconnect you the maker it also offloads you and you get spiritually reinvigorated the problem today is that our spirits become corroded because we don't get time to rejuvenate the spirit now you remember that in the olden times, people used to take time off to go to the field, to go and learn about nature, to learn about the God, to appreciate the Creator. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, at one stage he had to go and be initiated on the knowledge, on the powers of God in the mountain or in the in the bush so it's important for us to follow in his footsteps now going out to nature it aids your spiritual growth as i've indicated because you concentrate you focus on who you are why you are here on earth because you begin to see yourself as the complete or the integral part of nature you are not a lost identity, you are not an unidentified flying object, but you are part of nature and you are here where the Creator ordained you to take care of nature, to be in control, to be in charge, but to take constructive and responsibili responsibility in making sure that everything runs smoothly now once more 
being out in nature as you can see me here you gain emotional balance because you have taken a break from daily quarrels daily arguments daily debates daily news that suppress you daily concerns daily problems daily negativities that surround us every day you are here and there is that rejuvenation between your right and your left brain your thinking takes a new dimension you begin to focus you begin to look at yourself in a new perspective you begin to look at other people and the surrounding in a new perspective that's one of the benefits that i will advise you to follow me go out to nature you don't have to go deep into the bush you can just go to the outskirts of your location where you stay by you don't have to take a long time you can take between 10 and 15 minutes that will be enough because that will not be the time in vain but it will be time well spent now lastly going out to nature it enhances your creativity remember when sir isaac newton before he was given the title oh, and honored by the seaship he was just a young boy who was coming from somewhere back home and he decided to rest under an apple tree and an apple fell just next to him and guess what because he was he was in a mood whereby he could be able to focus he began to ask himself questions that another human being shouldn't have asked he began to engage creativity creatively with what was happening why does the apple the apple fall down why does it flip off and go upwards why does it come with the gravity and the speed that has come down then he began to think and his thoughts are what they led to the laws of motion the laws of gravity and th those have benefited us humankind very greatly but it all started because he had time to think he had time to look at nature creative creatively and now going out to nature benefits you in that respect now as i told you i run a blog www.saldb.wordpress.com go into the website if you have time give me more suggestions on what it helps us when we go out to nature but i would be very glad if you went in there and you told me that you have spent at least some few minutes in nature listen to the birds if you the sitting includes the river look at how the ripples or the waves glide with that smooth sound along each other look at the birds flying by fluttering their wings they are happy with nature look at the fish if there is fish look at how amazingly they dive they pop up look listen to the sound listen to the sound of the waters it's swishing it recuperates your mind now for today thank you till we meet again